Hello, it is Social Media Saturday, December 5th, 2020. Steve Cypress here, and as you can see, we are fully in the Christmas spirit. Tables all decked out. We have some company coming over, some friends. We got one of our outdoor Christmas trees, and the socks are hanging up on the door, and all that kind of great stuff, and all kinds of lights going on behind me and everything. Anyway... So uh, you might have seen that uh, Facebook is under attack again for uh, their antitrust issues. Uh, federal government here in the U.S. has been looking into them and Google and Amazon and, and uh, I don't know, the tech giants for a while. But now word is that uh, this coming week, next week, 40 out of the 50 United States attorney generals will be suing Facebook over antitrust. And so Zuckerberg keeps getting paraded before congressional panels and hearings and whatever and, and keeps saying, oh yeah, please regulate us, please regulate us. Well, uh, his, a bit, his wish may be about to not come true because instead of just merely being regulated, it looks like the writing is clearly on the wall and Facebook will be broken up at some point soon. So what does that mean for you as an entrepreneur or a business owner? Well, it means if you use Facebook for business, like you see I do here every day since uh, March 2017, middle of March 2017, I've been using Facebook to come onto my page, facebook.com slash smallbizhelp and recording a live video every single day and then posting it all over the place on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and my blog and my uh, podcast, LinkedIn, and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but I've been using Facebook to do it. So also uh, running all kinds of Facebook ads for various different businesses. And my clients are, and I even have a client who is a an expert in Facebook ads, and he runs them for his clients. Uh, so what does this mean for everyone that use Facebook, uses Facebook for business? Well, uh, likely nothing much other than audience uh, continues to uh, to turn their attention elsewhere. They will continue to do that as, uh, for instance, the Twitter alternative parlor is gaining some traction. MeWe or other platforms will always be cropping up to steal some of Facebook's thunder. But the bottom line is the, the ultimate message is always the same. Uh, do not, never, put all your eggs in one basket. When it comes to advertising or marketing for your business, if you're depending solely on Facebook ads, start to take a look, if you haven't already, at other venues, other ways to get your irresistible offers in front of your ideal target who or whose so that uh, when or if the news comes along, suddenly earth-shattering breakup of Facebook or changes or and they're always changing anyway, you're prepared uh, because you heard it here and I'm sure you've heard it elsewhere and I'm sure you've known it for a while, but uh, you want to get on it. Changes are coming. They always are, especially in the online world. And so uh, you can't depend solely on someone else's business, especially when that someone else does all kinds of unethical, possibly illegal things and uh, could be in big trouble with uh, federal, state, and who knows what international governments. So that's the lesson for today on Social Media Saturday. Take it or leave it, your choice. You're the entrepreneur, you're the business owner, and that'll do it. I will be back again just to say hello and check in as always on Sunday Fun Day, and I'll catch you with back here again with more business building tips on next Direct Mail Monday from Santa's Wonderland, over and out. Thanks for being here today. Catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.